In many ways, technology is culmination of human ability. To be invested in technology as an engineer, inventor, or entrepreneur is to tackle the problems of our world today and tomorrow with that out-of-the-box creative lens that changes the world. What I do is all about problem solving. I see a problem and my mind just takes off exploring endless avenues toward a way to solve it. Sure, it might require a little more technical background, but it's no different than a, the process of creating art. My name is Michael and I am an electrical and software engineer. I have been enthralled with robotics since middle school. It all started with this project. It was pretty much a failure from a fundamental standpoint, but it proved to be a wild success in sparking my imagination and giving me the tools to get off the ground and turn my dreams into a reality. During my freshman year in high school, I joined the robotics team. This was my first opportunity to work with people with similar passions and ambitions to build incredible things. I started in the electronics department making circuit boards. As a high school student, it is sometimes difficult to express my ideas and make them a reality. Adults don't always take us seriously. I see these limitations and I seek to overcome them. Life definitely always isn't a joyride, so facing adversity now is one of the most important learning experiences for me. I've had countless late nights and many well-developed ideas trashed for others. Unfortunately, I still have to deal with schoolwork. As a junior in high school, I have tons of AP courses and homework to keep up with, so time management plays a huge part in my life. I'm not satisfied with just good. My work has to be the best. I'm fortunate enough to have the opportunity to do what I do, and with that privilege, I have the responsibility to do my part in helping those around me. It's difficult, but in the end, what I do is worth it. I'm in the process of starting a nonprofit to make robotics education more accessible to all demographics. This robotics education will be based around an autonomous RC car. It's pretty exciting to be on the edge of innovation, and I'm hoping that by introducing lower income, middle and high school students to autonomous robotics, they will develop the drive to pursue careers at a young age that will advance the world and improve the quality of life for everyone. Beyond the nonprofit, I'm working on a project with a group called AT Makers. They develop creative solutions to problems that physically disabled people have to deal with. For example, right now I'm working on the saliva suction device for people who are unable to swallow. It's a simple device like this that will one day give more people that, who are physically handicapped independence without an enormous cost. I want to use my skills to help people and change the world. Finding creative solutions to technology problems is what I do. Someday I will help change the world and I plan to go forward with a generation of creative thinkers, inspired visionaries, and determined engineers that will be formed in the present for the future.